Hey guys, welcome to the Animation Movies Recapped. This is David with you. In today's video, I will be going through a 2022 Netflix action sports computer animated film called The Soccer Football Movie. I love the movie very much and hope you will like too. So without any further ado, let's start with the recap. The movie begins with a sports journalist named Rob Stone, who gives a football commentary on the All-Star Game. The game had come to the stage of the last penalty kick, with Zlatan being the penalty taker. Rob questions the ability of Zlatan, and he is then interrupted by Zlatan who tells him that he always makes it happen. Zlatan then takes the penalty kick and scores a thunderous goal as the crowd celebrates. Rob Stone then continues his commentary. He tells the audience that the prestigious All-Stars Cup will be held in the next 24 hours, and the fans are beginning to wonder who the best player of the tournament will be. Just then, Zlatan sneaks up on his coverage as he proclaims himself to be the best player of the tournament. Rob Stone then goes over to meet Weird Al Yankovic. He asks Yankovic, who he thinks will emerge the all-star of the game. But Yankovic replies by saying he will be the all-star player of all time if he takes soccer skills from each player using genetic advancement. A curious Rob then asks if he's a scientist, but Weird Al replies by saying, anything he sets his mind to do, he always achieves. He tells Rob Stone that he will hit a free kick to the goalpost but in the end, he ends up hitting Rob Stone in the face. Rob then spots a tall person in a trench coat, so he proceeds to ask questions, only for him to discover that they were multiple people in disguise. In a bid to escape, they lost their trench coat and then balance. They were trying to sneak inside the dressing room but then see a football. One of them takes the shot but it is blocked by Zana. She tells them that she is always prepared, as she has goalie instincts. They decide to proceed with their mission so they won't be caught by the securities, but on their way, they came across the legendary Zlatan. Zlatan can be seen juggling a ball. As he tries to take the shot, Zana once again saves it from entering the goalpost. Although Zlatan is furious that she blocked his shot but he still admires her talent. He tells her she has talent but not as legendary Zlatan. Just then, Nodai who is more interested in Megan Rapinoe then challenges him to a juggle-off. But Zlatan shakes it off saying Zlatan doesn't compete with kids. Nodai then provokes him by saying he is just afraid and hence trying to run away. This brings Zlatan back and he accepts the challenge. He shows the kid a beautiful lovely piece of skill while juggling the ball. This act left the kid speechless but still didn't stop Nodai from taking on the challenge. She decides to go the extra by using three balls but in the end, she gave a wonderful show. This left Zlatan impressed as he asks the kids how they got inside. They tell him that they are a street football team who have been saving money to get tickets for the All-Star game. They continue by saying it hasn't been easy for them as they live in a trailer by the old dump. They said that they started up a new business as pest control agents so they can be able to raise money to buy tickets for the All-Star game. They show Zlatan their business commercials which he likes. He notices that soccer was more than just a game to them as they bring soccer to every aspect of their lives. He praises them saying only a great team can catch a rabbit skunk using a back heel. He admires their teamwork and commends them for what they do. He promises to give them free tickets to the All-Star game if they will provide him with their pest control services. This left the crew speechless for some time. See Latin brings them back to reality as they rejoice. As a way of thanksgiving, they give him a coupon. Z Latin proceeds to go bring the tickets as he tells them to not move away from the place. He goes inside the dressing room to get the tickets but ends up getting distracted by a beautifully wrapped present. He goes over to unwrap the gift but is disappointed as he noticed that it is just a ball. Zlatan throws the ball away in disappointment. As he goes over to admire himself in a mirror, he notices that the mystery ball is glowing so he proceeds to go check it out. As he got there, the ball began melting as it emitted green substances. Zlatan notices a green slug inside and tries to familiarize himself with it. The slug attacks him. Meanwhile, the group who were on freeze began hearing unusual noises from Zlatan, so Odang proceeds to go check it out. As he got there, he sees a slug attacking Zlatan's ponytail. The green slug then transforms him into a rampaging mutant. Mutated Zlatan then breaks out through the wall and then escapes. Just then the rest of the crew catches up with Odang and he explains to them what had happened. Just then Zlatan returns with rage. The terrified kids then go into hiding. They were disappointed when they found out that Zlatan didn't give them tickets before he turned into a mutant. In the next scene, after failed attempts to involve 911, Hodang motivates the rest of the crew saying they made a promise to help Zlatan catch any creature that comes after him. 
Although Palio is afraid that they might get killed by the mutant Zilatin, Hodang still manages to motivate them saying together as a team they can achieve any feat. So they proceed to look for their idol Zilantin who now turned into a beast. As they were searching for mutant Zilatin, a tired Nodai then requests a 5 seconds break. As they were playing football, mutant Zilatin gets hold of their ball but is shunned by a voice that tells him to keep it down. He becomes furious and then proceeds to go attack the person but he rebounds back after hitting an obstacle. The group then decides to suit up in their pest control vest so that they can save their idol and catch the creature disturbing him. Meanwhile, Weird Al Yankovic calls Rob Stone through a voice modulator. He claims to be the bad guy using the name Caller X, and he tells him that he mutated Z-Latin and he would be the last All-Star he will go for. He tells Rob Stone that very soon he will have all the talents of the All-Stars as he ends the call with a burst of evil laughter. The next scene switches to Megan Rapinoe's apartment. She can be seen playing football with her dog, McCready. After they finish playing she goes outside to check on the door and notices that a mystery present was outside her door. Excited Rapinoe then opens the gift only to find a ball. She threw it away in disappointment. Just as she was about to resume her play with McCready, she notices that he is distracted and then proceeds to go check out whatever was keeping him distracted. She is surprised to see the mystery ball bring out a green slug. This scares McCready so he runs away. Rapinoe continues to look for the slug but it ends up attacking her. The group, on the other hand, continues looking for mutant Zilatin. But unknown to them, he was along a billboard watching them. The group decides to take a break. CCC Not I then plays a fart prank on them by using a whoopee cushion. However, unbeknownst to the group, the inflated cushion transforms a mutated Zilatin back to normal. They receive another emergency call concerning a mystery present with a green slug and then proceed to go save the situation. Z Latin, on the other hand, recovers but couldn't figure out what had just happened to him. He goes into a joke shop so he would call the stadium, but instead, the shop owner playfully uses a whoopee cushion to transform him back into a mutant. Luckily, he did not fully mutate this time and had a sense of what is going on with him. The group arrives at Megan Rapinoe's apartment. They meet up with Rapinoe who was hiding behind her giant statue. Nodai is so excited to meet her as he was a die-hard fan of her and asks for a selfie. But they have a mission to complete so her wish wasn't granted. Rapino tells the crew that the slug may look slow but it is very dangerous. Just as they were talking, the slug attacks Rapino and then transforms her into a mutant also. She destroys her statue in an attempt to attack the group. Surprised that Rapino almost killed them, they decided to go search for her so that they can stop the slug monster once and for all. Meanwhile, Zilatin, who is almost turning into a full mutant, goes into hiding as he tries to look for a cure. Weird Al Yankovic, on the other hand, has just opened his new hospital. He gives a speech saying he has been working on some brainstorming ideas and genetics advancement. Zilatin, who has been noticing Yankovic, decides to find out what he was up to. As he tried tracking down Yankovic, his ponytail speaks to him. Zilatin is surprised that his ponytail can talk. His ponytail tells him that the green slug had latched onto him instead of Zilatin's head, thereby giving him the ability to talk, feel and even sing. He continues by saying he has a weird feeling concerning Yankovic. Zilatin then proceeds to go look for Yankovic. Mutant Rapino can be seen roaming the street, she perceives the smell of cookies and then goes over to eat them. As she is about to eat the last tray, the owner hits her hard with a bat which caused her to get tangled in a rope. The group arrives at the scene and is happy because mutant Rapino had captured herself, but soon she detaches herself and then escapes. The group immediately goes over to look for her. Odang motivates them saying they have been in scarier situations before and they shouldn't be scared now. Just then, mutant Rapino attacks them. Finding no other way out, they decide to use their stun ball against her but not I couldn't bring herself to do it because Rapino was her idol. With all the crew down, Rapino proceeds to attack Nodai. While trying to find balance, Nodai mistakenly uses the whoopee cushion to transform Rapino back into a human. The group then realizes that the deployment from the whoopee cushion triggers their transformation. In the next scene, Zilatin goes to Weird Al Yankovic's place and sees some neon slugs and lots of similar presents like the one he received. He understands that Yankovic is the person who turned him into a monster and asks how he did this. Yankovic replies by saying he found an enzyme that makes talent extractable but the only side effect is that it causes a mutation. He informs that his plan is to extract talent from the All-Stars and then inject it into him. A furious Z-Latin then tries to attack Weird Al Yankovic but he is no match for him. 
Zlatan discovers that Yankovic has already stolen most of the all-star player's talent and now wants to steal his skills next. Meanwhile, the creature catchers finally get to capture the slug-eating monster. Rapino then thanks the group for saving her life as she takes a selfie with her die-hard fan Nodai. News then reached Rapino that the authority wouldn't let an all-star team play the game unless all the players are scrutinized for mutation. So the group then decides to share themselves. Nodai and Palio go with Megan to the stadium while the rest go on to look for Zlatan. On the other side, Weird Al Yankovic holds Zlatan captive. He tells him he is going to take out his talent which will make him the greatest all-star player of all time. He tries to take out his slug and then discovers that it merged with his ponytail. Yankovic then cuts out his ponytail after several attempts. As soon as the ponytail left Zlatan, it made him very weak as all his talent has gone. Yankovic then takes up the ponytail and merged it with his hair. This made Yankovic more stronger and skillful, while Zlatan becomes weak and talentless. Yankovic then storms out of the building with Zlatan's ponytail and talent. Rapino and Nodai arrive at the stadium. The team argues with Rapino that a whoopee cushion would not detect a slug mutant, but she tells them to give Nodai and Palio a chance to prove themselves. Palio then suggests that they take the test one after the other so they would take extra precautions if they all got slugged. During the test one of the teammates is revealed to be a mutant. She attacks Megan and the crew but Nodai is able to use the whoopee cushion to transform her back to human. Zlatan could be seen in the streets depressed because he lost his talent. Odang and Zana then see him crying at a corner on the street. They recognize him immediately and then go over to meet him. They ask about what happened. He then explains to them that Weird Al Yankovic stole his talent to become the greatest all-star player of all time and now he feels so weak. Odang then motivates Zlatan saying he shouldn't give up and says that with or without his talent he is still Zlatan. Zlatan then tells the group that they have to get in the stadium before Weird Al Yankovic. Noticing that he is very weak, Odang then advises him to learn how to play football again. So Zlatan and the group proceed to train. At first Zlatan was finding it difficult to cope, but later on, he develops his talent and became a pro footballer once more. They then head over to the stadium where they team up with Megan Rapinoe and the rest of the group. Since they are short four players, Zlatan then asks the Whoopi Cushion kids to join him in the all-star football game. He tells them that they have talents and all they need was just a uniform. The group becomes excited as they match out onto the field for the all-star game. The group decides to go look for Weird Al Yankovic and Ponytail but Zlatan tells them that they mustn't delay the match and they should concentrate on the game for now. Just as they were discussing, Weird Al Yankovic appeared on the field and showcases fabulous skills. He calls out their attention and then challenges them to a football match with his team of slugs. He tells Zlatan and his team that if they win, he will give them back their talent, and if he wins he will take back the rest of their talents. They were afraid because Weird Al Yankovic and his slug teammates are strong, but they proceed with full courage to trounce Yankovic and his slug army. As the match begins, we could see Yankovic and his men dominating the play. They cruise past Zlatan and his teammates. Yankovic scored the majority of the goals in the intense match which results in a 7 vs 1 scoreline. Zlatan and his teammates then leveled up their gameplay. They approached the game with an attacking mindset, and despite all odds, they were able to level up the score to a 7 vs 7 scoreline. In the last seconds of the game, Zlatan manages to shoot a thunderous strike as it results in a goal, which means the all-star team won the match. The teammates celebrate their victory while Weird Al Yankovic remains down on the pitch disappointed. The ponytail becomes angry as it tries to leave Weird Al Yankovic's hair. He tells him that he doesn't deserve all this talent and he is no good. So the ponytail transforms Weird Al Yankovic back to human and even deflates him. Ponytail goes over to Zlatan and his teammates. He tells Zlatan that he thought he will never leave his head for anything, but not until he possessed all the talent which makes him equally stronger just like Zlatan. Ponytail then transforms into a giant eating monster. He eats up all the slugs mutants who tried running away. Meanwhile, Weird Al Yankovic is able to use the whoopee cushion to transform back into a human. He goes over to meet Ponytail who is now a giant eating monster. He tells the crew that he has had a change of heart and regrets his actions of genetic advancement. He continues by saying he has come to redeem himself. He tries talking Ponytail out of it but instead, the giant eating monster swallows him. Ponytail then tells Zlatan that if he accepts him back, together they can be the world's greatest with all the all-star talents and even with Weird Al Yankovic's talent. 
He continues by saying they will be the ultimate all-star. But Z Latin refuses, he tells Ponytail that he is the only ultimate all-star. This made the giant eating monster angry, so he proceeds to swallow Z Latin. The group then devise a plan to meet Ponytail puke Z Latin and a remorseful weird Al Yankovic. They used a football to hit Ponytail in the eyes which gave him no sight for a while. Megan and the crew then used the opportunity to get on top of the giant eating monster. They caused him to sting himself and he screams in pain. In the meantime, Z Latin burst open his belly as the giant eating monster explodes releasing green substances all over the stadium. Z Latin then reunites with the group as they rejoice. Soon after, Weird Al Yankovic comes out of the belly. The all-star team then presented a trophy as the winner of the game. Later on, Z Latin and the team play football together as they enjoy themselves. Just as they are enjoying the game, a slug latches on a neighbor's head, making her scream. This is where the movie ends. Thanks for watching. See you soon with a new movie recap. Till then, stay happy and chill out.